This man has returned to the Soviet Union. He happened to be on the battlefield. He had to flee to the trenches. The man said, he'd bring the Gatling Vulcan to support him later. But people here can see him or hear him. He was hit by bullets and wasn't hurt. He is invisible in this time and place. A man named Mikhail. He's a hard worker, who's made a name for himself in the business world. His father, who grew up in an orphanage, taught him from an early age not to love. Because love is a human weakness, his workers were about to enter the sand extraction plant when they were stopped by archaeologists because there were remains of warriors inside. They were heroes, but archaeologists need a lot of time for their work. They risked interfering with his interests. Mikhail made a deal with the project manager. When he puts on this hair, it's the signal for the start of the operation. An unmanned truck has crashed into the archaeologists. Afterwards, he'll say it was an accident. Afterwards, he goes to see Lisa, the head of the archaeological team and seduces her. He tries to convince them to leave. It's not enough to flirt with her. You have to act on it. Mikhail deliberately flirted with Lisa. The project manager saw this and took it as a signal to move. 